Hey Brick Maniacs, it is Lando here, and today Dan is joining us with his all new SDKFC 251 OSIP D. Um, what's new about this one, Dan? What do we got? Uh, well, this is this is just a kind of re-release of the classic mm -hmm. Hanna Mag uh, half track that the, the the German military made for World War II. Uh, it's the larger of the three. There's three half tracks in this configuration. It's the larger of the three. Uh, there's a, others being the 250 and the 252. Uh -huh. It's a really tiny little thing. But this is the 251. This would be like the equivalent of the American M3 half track, which was everywhere. Troop transport. Right. So armored troop transport. Um, we have this particular one in the ambush camouflage, yes. so it, it matches the Panther that was just reissued. So this, like like the Panther, this is an, an update of a classic Brickmania kit. Um, noticeable upgrade differences. Uh, I used the Lego chain link instead of the Brickmania yeah, track links, yeah. so uh, it, it actually fits a little bit better. Um, and we, one of the reasons we made the Brickmania tracks is because we couldn't get these things for, for many years. Right. And now they've come back with a vengeance. So hey, we're gonna go with what's, what's available and we decided to go with this one. Right. Um, other updates include printed tiles all around. In the past, we, the last one we put out had stickers and we had these little boxes and stuff and, and we made a sticker pack of it and the sticker pack of course is um, you have to put it on a solid tan, tan body right. or something. We wanted to build a brick built camouflage uh, for the to, to to match the ambush camouflage of the Panther, so there we have there it. You yep. There you go. There you go. Notable battles. Uh, oh, everywhere. Yeah. This was everywhere that the German army went in World War II. Right. The D model. This is which is the later model. They actually simplified it. Uh, it just has these single. The, the earlier models had these crazy uh, angles on the doors. They simplified it with just flat doors on it. On this one, uh, they do open. You can see. I just close them all up. But as you can see before, they were open. Um, the this is the Al, this is the Alpha D, which is all the whole series. They just basically simplified the body shape, got rid of any like weird bumps and angles and, and, and things just to make manufacturing simpler. Uh, it does have the cargo boxes on the outside, just like all of them do. Um, this is the this is the 251 slash 10 right now because it is the command version. The command version, the big difference is it has this uh, uh, anti tank gun on it, 37 yes. millimeter anti tank gun. So basically a a uh, Pack 36 anti-tank gun uh, mounted on the roof. The later models would have just the one plate on it. Otherwise, it ends up being two. You know, the early ones had a huge gun shield on it. They basically took the the Pack 40 or Pack 36 and stuck it right on top. Super tall, super noticeable. They cut it down to make it less less obvious that this was had a bigger gun than usually the machine gun, which. You actually get the parts. So, yes, yeah, so you can build either variant, right? Yeah. Do you want to talk about this crazy mini fig? Well, yeah, for and, sure. And while you're doing that, I will rebuild this with the awesome, awesome the 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 251 slash one standard, which is a standard half track. All right. Yes. Uh, so we have here an all new commander for this vehicle, and um, there's a slight revision to the 44 dot camouflage here. Um, we're dialing in the different colors in the camouflage, and <laughs> we've actually color shifted the reddish brown substrate so it's a little bit a hair lighter so kind of a cool things that we're doing behind the scenes there with this um other than that we have some uh i guess you got your pistol holster there and uh new face artwork and obviously last last but not least this amazing amazing um uh, commander's cap here the crusher cap Go, talk about that cap a little bit yeah for sure where did you get that cap? where did we get this cap so this is made in-house here at Brickmania. um it's a it's a brand new 3d model um, that we developed in-house and we have manufactured this in-house as well along with um custom printing on the front surface to get that black brim and insignia there to pop just perfectly um i guess there we've traditionally been using the lego police cap um and we kind of got to the point where um, we thought we could do a bit better. We had the means to do, the means to pull this off, and um, I think this is one of the nicest looking aftermarket crusher caps uh, available. So I agree. It's, yeah, it's awesome. So custom made in house, mm -hmm. not available anywhere else right now. Nowhere it? else. Yeah. Nowhere else. Nowhere so else. just this kit uh, down the road. Are there plans to release this as a standalone item? Right. And why a captain? Why a captain? So for the minifigure of the month, we're going to be doing a Panzer Grenadier to go with this uh, captain. A similar configuration. You could fill um, up your half yeah, you <laughs> yeah. Uh New uh, new helmet artwork for that. Um, and that the, the the standard uh, Panzer Grenadier will just have a stall helm. Right. Stall helm. Nice right. printed stall helm with some brand new artwork. So that's going to look really slick right. to go with this. 
So that's coming up next month. Cool. Yeah. Very good. Okay, you have the new version on. Um, yeah, right. I put it back together. Yes. <laughs> so you, you have the, the guns. I don't remember if I put it on backwards or not. <laughs> it looks cool. It looks good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. So you do, you do get the, the, the pieces to build it. You get two MG42s, um, so you can build it both ways. Okay. Yep. Very awesome. Awesome. Uh, any other details that you'd like to go over? No, that's it. No, that's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it's it. a standard SDKFC. Um, Doesn't slide. The tracks don't roll very well on the smooth surface. Not on the smooth surface. <laughs> but, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Um, all new SDKFC 251. There's a steering the, wheel. There's a steering wheel. <laughs> Finally, you've been asking. Yes. And now it's here. No, it's always been in there. It's always been in there. <laughs> um, for more information, please check out brickmania.com. Thanks for watching.